Alright, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to load up an AutoCAD file, DXF, in this case, and convert it into DDM. So let's just load the DXF file. Now the thing we want to look for is uh, any uh, contours or spot heights. If you zoom in there you can see there's some spot heights there, there's some contours. We can use, use that. So it would be nice if the CAD is three dimensional. That's going to be first prize. Uh, the program will intelligently assign heights to those CAD features. Now remember when we work with Model Maker, we have a CAD environment and we have a what we call project or survey data environment or DTM. Now, uh, looking at this drawing, this is just CAD. So we can identify CAD and look at its properties by going to um, the line features. There's a info option and click on any line. Uh, it tells me that this is a polyline and if we go to coordinate editor you can see the contour lines there have an elevation to it there's also some spot heights so let's zoom in on those spots we can switch the endpoint display on to see them a little bit better you'll see the difference between a real polyline is a little green uh, cross where the bend points are and segmented lines have little blue crosses so I'm going to click on the closest blue cross also has a height that's excellent so there's two things I can do here I can either convert the actual contour lines to DTM points and everywhere where there's a bend point place a point or I can use the actual survey that was used to do, um, do the contour survey and create contours from that I'm going to do that first uh, a nice way to work is to find out what layer that is on so put your cursor on that point and then just press the delete button it tells us there's a spot heights trans topo spot heights layer so that's a layer I'm gonna isolate at the moment so I'll press L for layers and switch everything off and find uh, there's a spot height let's put that on it's a different layer and then that's the one we want actually so I'm gonna say okay so we've got a whole lot of spot shots everywhere. I will now ID those points or CAD lines. So we go to CAD, ID, do ID. Do ID is to select a lot of stuff, a lot of CAD stuff and manipulate it all at once. So it's lines we're working with. So we can just say all the elements lines and you can just say all. It will only look at what is uh, actually uh, displayed and um, the layer that's active so we'll close that all right so what you will see is the points or the lines have turned red you can only see it better if you zoom out a bit so now we will manipulate that and there's an option under the lines grouping CAD line DTM point comes up with a way we can add codes it asks us if we want to skip some points. I'm not going to skip anything and I'm not going to add any description, so I'll just say OK. But important, now I need to add these points into a certain surface. So we're going to use the intelligence of the CAD and create points uh, into a project or survey surface. So we say OK there. Right, that's been done. So if we go to triangles now, there will probably be a lot of points duplicated that's just the nature of elements that come from CAD so the program does, don't like that too much so it wants to audit them out so if I say C search or contour search yeah it needs to audit the data and just say okay there and it already filled the dialog with the correct parameter so you can just say audit a few times audit again until we see zero here and then we can say remove started star. Now what happens is it when we audit data we are actually giving each point 
a code with a started star description and that tells the program that the point is in the database but it's actually hidden so I don't need those points I'm just gonna say remove them in any case and they will now be removed totally and when I say OK the program does a triangle search if I display my triangles there I've created a beautiful DTM I can switch my triangles off I can display the CAD layer for contours so let's do that go to the display menu again or press L on your keyboard that will take you to this page switch everything on and this is now CAD overlaid over the contours that was created mathematically right so there we have a live DTM we can use a second way to do this I'm gonna keep that as my primary model because that is first price from actual survey data we have created the exact same model it might be a different um, contour layout here and there as you can see there oh, by the way triangle edit will fix them if you can manipulate your triangles a bit maybe I should display it you can see there if I click on some of those points uh, okay there's not much options there to edit I needed some points on the outskirts there uh, let's see if I can find another place where it actually replicated the contour so well hard to see much difference okay uh, here we go there's an area Let's see here okay it, that's the green line the green line is the CAD line and if we flip that triangle leg across like that maybe even again I can try and simulate that no I'm just making it worse Okay, so it seems like there's some CAD still. Oh, here and there there's a survey point, call it that. Um, that's not there, and that's why the triangulation is not 100% copy. But for most of the jobs that needs to be done on this, we'll get pretty good results. All right, so that's model maker converting spot heights. Now, I'm going to activate a second surface. Now remember the points go to projects, alright, so only points and triangles are in a project. So project 2 is currently empty. If I go to status, it shows us there are 2530 points in project 1 and project 2 is currently empty. So by making project 2 active, I will now repeat this process. Uh, so I'm going to go to CAD again and just say ID new, that will deselect all the CAD from being um, ID and I'm gonna say do ID and I'm gonna choose this time I'm gonna choose the contour layer so info from element will help us here to find the layer line and we just click on any line that we want to select you can see the contours major is the one it's a real polyline so yeah select it and I'll do that again so I'll go to layers again Info from element, I'm just going to choose the general contour. You'll see it's selected there as contours. Alright, now we have a lot of contour layers ID. I can just switch the display of anything that is not ID off. You'll see the pivot circles will disappear as soon as I press that button. So that shows us only what is ID. We can switch the DTM of the project one off as well. So you can see it's only contours that are ID'd. Go to man ID, same function, CAD line DTM point. Don't worry about descriptions. And pro place the points into project 2. Alright, so the program just goes through it all nicely. Switch the CAD off, switch project 1 off switch DTM on so that's the points on the bend points of all the CAD lines that we have just ID'd so we go to triangles remember we're in project 2 
and we say C search again. Obviously, we need to audit lots of duplication in that CAD, so we'll just say audit 298 points. Audit again. Just do it until you see a zero appear. There we go, and remove. Okay, when I say OK now, we'll close, the triangulation will be done. It automatically removes long leg triangles. You can change that parameter here. There's a controlled search radius option in here. Or you can just say do not remove all the long legs from triangles. That's under triangle parameters. But I'm going to be happy with that. Alright, so there I have mimicked the contours by placing points on all the CAD lines. So let's just CAD on again. You can see it's a pretty good uh, representation. Now don't be alarmed with these lines that are looping on themselves. That is just the mass we use for what we call quick contours. You can switch that off. If you press this button here, that's normal contours or O on your keyboard that should create the spline effect. Right now it would be visible if you unID your CAD, so let's just do that. CAD ID new and switch that ID option off just so that we can display what every everything that's loaded and then switch that normal contour button again. You can see the orange color is our contours and the green is the CAD so there's still a little bit of editing to be done here but in general that should be sufficient for most of the work that needs to be done so there you have it two methods I prefer method number one it's the best but if sometimes you don't have spot heights available then you must convert CAD the contours into uh, real DTM contours so I'm going to activate project one and get rid of project so I'm going to say file new, don't need that, those points in project 2, project 1 is fine so I'll just say get rid of it, and there you have it, something I can use, let's just switch project 1 on, and you can design what you need to design from this point forward.